All right, guys. Here we are. Going to paint another rifle. Um, this time the AK. It's an arsenal. Um, just in the prep stage right now. Got the magwell covered up. The rear irons, the front irons, and the muzzle device. Um, I'm going to start with the rust on the uh, dark brown. Yeah, the earth brown, they call it. Uh, that'll be the base coat. Um, so this will be a little different than the last video. I did the, like the, uh, the netting kind of shade. On this one, I kind of want to go for either some stripes or just some uh, local foliage. I'm going to try something a little different. Um, a couple of my friends have done it and it looked really good. So I'm just going to, I'm going to give it a shot on the old AK. So I'll do the first coat and, uh, I'll start filming again. All right, guys. So we're back. I have the MRO mounted. Uh, it's got the first layer of the brown paint. Uh, everything's taped off and important. Just a little side note. Um, you do want to tape off the serial number just for warranty purposes. Um, that way, if anything, you know, went wrong with your MRO, you could always get the warranty work done. Don't think there ever would be, but all right. So everything's nice and somewhat dry. I mean, there's definitely some, I didn't degrease it, whatever it's a, it's in, you know, it's a tool. It's going to get used. It's going to look worn. It's going to get worn. It'll flake. I'm not too worried about that. Um, but last time I discussed doing some foliage stuff, I had my old primary arms tiger stripe stencil. And uh, actually, I decided I'm going to use that. So we're going to do the first layer of the sand color. And see how that turns out. Um, so yeah, I'll spray the sand and the little stripes. We're gonna go over that. After I do the sand color, I'm gonna do the FDE and see how that turns out. So um, I'm gonna do the sand layer real quick and see how it turns out. Hopefully, hopefully it turns out nice. There is the first layer it's not the sand color that I had intended the khaki if that'll focus there it's not that one I actually decided to go with that I think I got this off Amazon but uh it's more of an FDE um I thought the khaki would be a little too light but it's looking like the FDE is a little too dark. I'm gonna have to add some sort of green. I'm thinking of the, um, just adding some green, but I'm really pleased on how that turned out. It actually looks really cool. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna flip over and do the other side quick. All right, there's the, uh, Here's the other side I've been working on. I am super pleased at this Primary Arms Tiger Stripe stencil. They actually discontinued them, um, unfortunately, but uh, that just looks cool. It's I honestly almost want to keep it like that, but I got to add some green. And here in Pennsylvania, you know, there's a lot of green, so. Um, but yeah, there's that finished side. And here is the other finished side. All right, now to finish it up, the old Arsenal SLR 107 with the MRO. Um, we're going to see this part of the stencil I didn't use. I'm gonna use that with some what they call deep forest green. Just all them. 
you can get it off Amazon or most auto shop places. Um, but so yeah, I'm gonna use that stencil. And like I said, up here in Pennsylvania, we have a lot of green, so I'm just gonna hit it a couple times with a little, with a little green. I'm hoping it doesn't ruin this super cool look it's got going on right now, because I'm super pleased with it. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna do that quick and uh, I'll show you guys the end result. Well, there she is, she's all done. I used the uh, small uh, slit stencil for the green to overlay the FDE in the brown. Turned out really sharp. I'm really pleased with how it looks. I think it definitely blends in with the uh, local vegetation. Um, flip it over. Get a look at the other side. Yeah, super, super stoked. The tiger stripe ten, uh, stencil, highly recommended, my friends. Highly recommended. I will say one thing, if you like the super sharp lines that you see on the flat surfaces, they're kind of hard to get as you go around. Um, maybe if I did it next time, I would kind of stretch it around maybe to the other side. That way it gets kind of flatter, but uh, overall I'm very pleased. It looks super sharp and it's actually, it's, you know, it's a practical camouflage paint job for a firearm, especially in this area. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions uh, just leave them in the comments and I'll, uh, I'll answer them. There she is.